down tilt. Right, right. Or now I have to get my forward smash. Um, I think Warmer is actually um, a really, like, he's he's unorthodox. He does weird things, but mm -hmm. he's well-rounded, in yeah. my opinion. He has, ooh. He, he's comfortable. Ooh, this might. Okay. That was good DI. Speaking of unorthodox. <laughs> that was great DI because he got a kill out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's let, let's get into the match, I guess. Um, Warmer. Oh, no. Where's Warmer from? Connecticut? I think he's Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Hall of Gaming tag, so I, I, that would that would mean probably Connecticut. Yeah, um, yeah you know, I, I've really liked so far uh, just Warmer's patience. It's been evident that he hasn't been getting too antsy, but Tuesday has just uh, been so efficient with the up throws, right? Right. And uh, we saw actually on the first stock what he got it up was a familiar thing we saw in the last game, Power Shield. It was a Power Shield up smash that started it for Two Saints. So Warmer's got to be thinking about that already. Right. I, I think this matchup always comes down to lasers also. Yeah. How they use lasers. Um, he's <gasps> up oh. That was so sick yeah. for Warmer. A, tur a laser turnaround up smash to get the cross up. Yeah. Um, there's always that advantage when you're below Puff as a spacey mm -hmm. uh, in center stage. When Puff tries to cross you up, you have a better situation than they have. Yeah. And that was the, the most, that's unfortunate. But he has the most, um, the, the best advantage that he's going to get really in the matchup. And using it as an up smash as Falco to get a kill. I'm still hung up. We're, we're way past it, but I'm, <laughs> I'm still hung up it's on one, that. It's game. one of those things that you got to think about for a little bit, right? Yeah, for sure. Ooh, nice crouch cancel there. Toussaint does like to throw out some pounds, uh, yeah, very, sure. very notably. So it's something that you're, you're usually not expecting the raw pounds in neutral this early on. But against Toussaint, you got to be. Yeah, Toussaint catching a lot of, like, hops, a lot of full hops mm -hmm. and just jumps from platforms, um, getting his percent. Now he's, he's up a real comfortable stock. That game, that game felt way quicker than two minutes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, because it just felt like every time Two Saint hit Warmer, Warmer started to die, right? Um, that's what Puff's looking for, right? Is is converting off hits, getting Falco off stage quickly. I don't think Falco lived past ninety percent that whole match. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on if uh, Warmer gets uh, up thrown by Two Saint, where the up throws are coming from. There's that raw pound again, because he didn't di them at all in the last game. So I want that means he's not expecting them somehow. Oh. Oh. All right, converting here, this is the big one. So once you're at this percent, you're at kill percent, how are you going to... Ooh. Jam percent. Yes. Oh. Speaking of conversions, that was so quick by Toussaint. Right. Like amazing uh, just recognition that he had an opportunity to kill there where I think it surprised all of us that he just managed to delete that stock so easily. And here... Here's what I mean by kind of setting up a mode. He, sure. He did a lot of like back air type things. Mm -hmm. He didn't r go back to lasers. Yeah, and you're right. I think that's a mistake. Um, there, he got he found the back air, but he was doing a lot of other things mm -hmm. before getting it. Mm -hmm. But once you kind of set up like this is what I, I'm looking for, Jigglypuff has so many options to kind of beat your approach. That was another really quick conversion. Toussaint is so. He's he's renowned for just picking up rests seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah, he has some some rest setups you're not going to see with most other puffs for sure. <laughs> Mama, I love that forward smash. That's also a two saint special where we're, Warmer just took the stock, but the uh, the edge cancel down air. Yep. He even does edge cancel down air into rest to, to combine the two things we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, I've certainly seen some uh, some Twitter posts on that combo. Nice, little, nice yeah. try there from Warmer. He knew Randall was coming, but... All right, there's the first lasers we've seen in a really long time. You're right that his neutral game is <gasps> almost all back air. What? So, 40%? Okay, Toussaint looked a little tight. Yeah, I understand why, dude. Yeah, if there's if there's a turning point... If, if, all right, if Warmer wins this match... We know, we know where the mental boom happened. Yeah, that was at 40%. <laughs> yeah. After getting hit. So, like, 33? Ugh. Warmer's, Warmer's neutral game has mostly just been these really, really safe aerials. And I, I really... <gasps> Again? No, 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 no. Because no. it wasn't off side platform that right, time. That right. was the difference. Look, it's just it's double jump back air, double jump dare in general. I mean, it's working out for him a little bit, but it, but it's a little scary for me because Toussaint can catch the landings is what I'm worried about. And Toussaint just throwing in the... Getting a uh, confirm off an aerial and then shielding. 
Oh my god. Okay, Warmer's back on stage. Both of them at very, very easy kill percent here. <gasps> Man, Toussaint has not been able to cover the low side Bs. That's been what he's gone for every single time. Warmer just such strange oh. movement. Toussaint keeping up. Another low side dash B. attack. <gasps> oh, it makes it back barely. Up here? Oh, he just went for Shine! Up throw Shine? That was so sick! What? Oh. What a conversion from Warmer. Oh my god. That was oh. that that was so interesting because the, the standard thing there, we've seen PPMD do this a million times way back in the day when he plays against Hungrybox. You do up throw up air, right? Up air. Oh, the fox comes out for Dreamland for FD. For the FD counter pick by Toussaint. Okay. I don't hate it, but that's only because I know that Warmer has enough faith in his fox to go fox in tournament. Right, sure. So the fact that it's stage specific, I still, uh, I don't know. It, it's so interesting to me. Why do you think Tuse counterpicked this stage in general? He does it all the time. He did it in winners, and he lost. Against he did Cypher it against Phoenix, Cypher Phoenix, right? Phoenix. yeah. So I, I honestly don't understand. I understand kind of liking it when Fox, when like people bring you here. That was. It's just objectively not great for Puff. I mean, I think one thing is Toussaint, like we said, has, I think, one of the most fleshed out, interesting punish games of any Puff, right? Yeah. And he has, he excels at getting these weird rests, but he's also so good at killing you off, like, weird dash attack stuff or up smash out of shield, that sort of stuff. And it's easier to do that on this stage, for sure. I know my own experience playing against Toussaint. Mm -hmm. Whenever it's this stage, his mental pressure is exceptional. Oh, it's interesting. Better, it's better on this stage than any other stage. Interesting. And just the way he holds space and the fact that he is comfortable falling back when it, it calls for it, he's just, his playstyle is so fluid. Like, people will pin him down, not to get on a rant, but people will pin him down as, like, the aggro puff. Right. He's an everything puff. He'll do whatever it takes. Well, just look at this drift right now. It's so, so intimidating how he's jumping in and then just drifting away, really not doing anything. There was a back air there, but he'll also just do it a way to just bait something out. Right. No, Toussaint is one of the, the, the most amazingly adaptive players mm -hmm. I've ever seen. And I think FD, he, he's comfortable on it because there's there's nothing else. Right, it's yeah. It's a plain stage. Yeah, adaptation is, is somewhat easier on this stage because there's no platforms to think about. You know, the neutral game is just more linear because of that. Right. I guess he just feels like he can outplay his opponent. And right now it's working. Yeah, for sure. Because um, Warmer's Fox, uh, it's good. It's looked very stiff, though, you know, compared yeah. to his Falco. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's the secondary Fox for you. But, hey, if it does what it needs to do. Oh, man. Oh, he finally up th or DIs the up throw. Good stuff. It's just so interesting how this whole, uh, whole thing broke down was two Saint brought... The Falco here, yeah. and the, the Fox was counterpicked. Yeah, interesting too, because I think of this as a fairly good stage for Falco in the matchup. Right. I like it a lot. It's actually my usual counterpick other than Yoshi's. <laughs> it's good for both spaces. Oh, what? All right, so Warmer, look, a, a good Fox is needed to bring Toussaint to last stop. Yeah, so, yeah, so for sure. Really no disrespect to this Fox. And honestly, uh, oh. this is really close to, to bringing it back. Man, he's been getting back to stage as both characters so easily with those side Bs. Mm -hmm. Warmer's mostly got his kills off raw up smash. So you gotta wait until that percent to think he's gonna make something happen. Yeah, a few lasers, a grab or so, or, you know, something something to get a little more percent. See that? See that? I really like the bear there, right? Because, because we know he's looking for up smash as the kill option, so guaranteed percent is so much better. Oh, Toussaint just let him come back for no reason. Yeah. Okay, he he should be dead here. Yeah. Okay. 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 A little scary. Yeah. A little scary. But also, also, shout outs. I, I think uh, Warmer's tag, Max B, I think that's a reference to Tiramisu, another England, New England uh, Fox. Yeah. I recently met him. He is one of the sweetest people. He is one of the nicest people I've ever known. I met him at... Uh, a, an Apollo like a year ago or something. Yeah. Back to the Falco, but met him in Apollo <laughs> like a year ago or something. And he was so sweet, so nice. Like, hey, man, I li like your work. Can we play friendly? I was like, yeah. And he just murdered me because yeah. he's so this good. Is like he's terrifying. so good. <laughs> uh, it's the best combo. Like, super good player, but like almost like too timid. For yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah, he's the best. 
All right, so back to the Falco. I like Perfectly this. Perfectly tied, real quick, just shout outs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this stage again, really good for Falco. Yeah, and um, you've seen you've seen already that uh, Wormer's making a lot of use of the big linear space and the ability to land on platforms. He's just doing these big lasers in place, you know, full hop, laser, 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 full hop, laser, 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 fall yeah. through laser, um, which has gotten him a lot of percent already and a lot of openings. Yeah, it's an interesting neutral to set up because there's only so many ways you could do full hop, triple laser. Yeah, like, it's not like normal full hops. Everyone knows what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but it also protects you from a lot of stuff. Mm. Wow, okay. Nice little down tilt. Um, I've noticed that Warmer's... Uh, drop the other thought. I've noticed that one of Warmer's biggest strengths is just uh, the scuffles. Sure. When things get weird... Yeah. Um, he's... Wow. As I say that, Toussaint picks up a, a nice rest. Oh, great SDI from Toussaint there on the dare, but really good recognition from Warmer to still get the grab. And yep. make a huge, huge punish out of this, actually, for Puff. Yeah, that's a big punish, getting from, I think he was on like 20 or something, yeah. up to this percent. Yeah, no, this is really big. But I, I do have to say that I'm wondering how Warmer's going to get his kills, because getting a shine off the top's a lot harder here, with no top platform to go off of. Right. There's an answer, back air, of course. Not great DI from Two Saint, but uh, that is what Warmer will be looking for, probably. Well, it looks like he's comfortable getting combos and then kind of backing out, going mm -hmm. back to neutral. Mm -hmm. And that's really important in this matchup because optimally you can, you can get rid of Puff. And, well, optimally it's like two combos. Right. But realistically, you're looking for around three. Mm -hmm. so, you get, so that's like two right now, a couple lasers, a couple stray hits. And then once it's around kill percent, just getting the clean clean follow-ups. Yeah, absolutely. And so if, if Warmer can pull those together, this game is absolutely his, but right now, Two Saints has been much better at getting those clean follow-ups. I mean, yeah, you say that, oh, that is going to be, he lost his jump there, but uh, but it was really even up until that point. Getting this stock fast is going to be huge for Warmer. Real close. Yeah, pixels away from tying it up. Yeah. Man, these rests, these raw pounds in neutral are so scary from Two Saint. But why not when you're this far ahead, right? Yeah, I, you said it before that he's really comfortable going for it. Uh, the risk reward at low percents against spaces is huge. Yeah, it, it's a, a good thing to throw into your <gasps> to game plan. He yeah, almost caught him there. Yeah, he's just gonna keep up smashing. He's gonna keep doing weird stuff. This is this is warmer style, man. Give yeah. him a wall to play with. Oh. Oh, Two Saint barely missed times the back air to catch the side B. Yeah, that would have been it for sure. Warmer, this stock he's got about five follow-ups. Oh, five openings. Yeah, it's all it's back air city right now from Warmer. I'm wondering yeah. if he tries to sneak in a down tilt because that's how he got the first stock of this match, right? Yeah, you don't want to just go for back air. You want to understand that there are other ways to open it up because Two Saint can play around the one move. Yeah, but right now Warmer has been. It was pretty one-dimensional there. That was a crazy angle. Not yeah. gonna get him, but uh, I agree with you. It was a lot of just full hop aerial aerial, and that's how Two.